what's not on your list is empathy. And you actually said too much empathy is bad for a relationship or empathy can be not good. And I was like, hold the phone. (laughs) What do you mean empathy or too much empathy can be damaging to a relationship? Tell us about that. Thank you for that. So I want people to hold open hearts as we're going into this conversation and see if by the end of it, it makes sense to you. Okay. Empathy means feeling with another, meaning that literally you're going to, again, going back to the physics principles, you are going to create a neural resonance at the same frequency as the other person, right? Okay. That is possible. That will happen. Uh, It's a part of being in love with somebody, right? That you are going to feel with them, their pain. And, you know, sometimes even we have um, people, you know, we have in research that, you know, when a partner goes through giving birth, the other person feels the pain as strongly, right? So these are all telepathic empathies and, uh, you know, that in romantic partnerships or very close friendships or even familial connections happen. So there's a place for that, which is when you are trying to be in an intimate space with each other, if you are in a sensual space with each other, that works beautifully because you can read each other, you can dance with each other, you can really um, sync your nervous systems with one another, right? Or in a place of commiseration when, God forbid, as a couple, you experience something And then both of you are going through pain. That happens a lot around children, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. So you can actually see it and empathize with each other. However, on a daily basis, if we define empathy as feeling with another person, with your partner, and then compassion as feeling for the other person, I will vote for compassion for daily life of 